I've lived in Nebraska for the majority of my adult life, and while I've never lived in California, I've helped countless families move from California to Omaha, Nebraska, and I've had several conversations on why they decided to make the move. And while each person's circumstances are different and reasons for moving are unique, I've been able to take away insights that I believe will help you if you're considering making a change. This is not a bash on either state, but to put simply, I wanna share some of the biggest differences to maybe help you decide what the future may hold. And if you're considering making a move to Omaha, please reach out. We have people from all over the country and all over the world that are always reaching out and we absolutely love it. So we put a link down in the description and we'd love to hear from you. Starting off with taxes, both Nebraska and California rely on three main sources, income tax, property tax, and sales tax. California has a top individual tax rate of 13%, while Nebraska is around 6.81%. And at the time of this video, there is a bill looking to bring down Nebraska's income tax to just over 5%. Now, California has a sales tax of 7.25, while Nebraska is around 5.5%. Now, this is not much of a difference until you look at the cost of living, which we'll get into later in the video. Then you have property taxes. Nebraska is known for having some of the highest property taxes in the nation. Statewide, we sit around 1.61%, but Omaha, the average is around 2.4%. Now in California, statewide, it sits around 0.73%. Okay, so let's compare starter homes in LA and compare them to Nebraska. So I pulled up Zillow right here, and let's just pull up this property right here. This is for $625,000. It's a four bedroom, two bath, just around 1500 square feet. It doesn't have a garage or anything like that, but you can see very small, very tight quarters, multiple bedrooms, but it looks like there's just not a lot of space. Now for a property like this, you're looking at $625,000. Your taxes on this would be around $6,250. Now if we compare a starter home here in Omaha, here's a three bed, two bath, 1500 square feet right in the heart of Omaha, Nebraska. And a property like this is going to have a property tax of about $4,900. So when looking at the pictures and comparing property taxes for the value that you're getting in a home, I'm gonna have to give this one to Nebraska for it just simply costing less to live here. Population is another factor that many of my clients raise as a primary factor for moving out of the state. With more people comes more problems like congestion, traffic, poor air quality, and the like. To give you an idea of the difference, for every 10 people in California, there's one in Nebraska. So the average commute to work here in Omaha is just about 25 minutes. Population density also plays into the cost of housing due to supply and demand. The more demand there is, the higher the cost of housing can go. However, California is a huge state that still offers a ton despite the high population. many things that my clients indicated that they loved about the state of California. Due to the large size of the state, the mountains, the coastline, California has microclimates that allow adventure seekers the opportunity to do a large array of different activities. From beach days, surfing, hiking, skiing, deep sea fishing, the list is extremely long for outdoor activities that you can do in California. And on the other hand, there's nothing you can do in Nebraska that you can't do in California. <laughs> Except for ice fishing, I guess. Uh, we win in that category. With the right perspective in place, there is still a lot that you can do here in Nebraska, minus the beaches and the mountain activities. There are tons of lakes for boating, fishing, biking, even paramotors, which I personally have been getting into. Next on the list is natural disasters. On average, there's over 6,000 natural disasters that happen throughout the world every single year, affecting over 218 million people and claiming over 68,000 lives every single year. In the United States, California rakes second, just behind Texas with 336 natural disasters that have triggered state emergencies in the past 67 years. Nebraska came in around 72. Disasters such as floods, heavy snows, tornadoes, 
High winds and hail are some of the things that we've seen over the past half century while California saw these plus fires, earthquakes, and tsunamis. There's been a growing trend for people searching for climate refuge. I've helped clients for this specific reason and is a legitimate reason why people are leaving California and moving to places of refuge that don't have as many natural disasters. Now, I wanna throw a curveball real quick in light of the conflict that we're currently seeing in the Ukraine. Since the first attack, I've really thought to myself about the odds of this going worldwide. Where would I want to be in the United States if something like this was to happen? And to be honest, it has given me some peace of mind knowing that if any type of attack would happen on our country, they would have to go through several states and several defenses before they would ever reach the middle of the country. Okay, so let's lighten things up a little bit with nightlife. And with no question, California wins this for a few different reasons. The climate is more mild without the harsh winters like we get here in Nebraska, which allows for more frequent festivals, outdoor concerts and fairs, which is great for socializing and music and bands and a variety of different things that you may see. Now, while we do get great music here in Omaha, I really can't compare to the diversity that you see in California. In addition, in addition, you get Hollywood and there you have the Walk of Fame and other tons of touristy attractions that you could spend tons of time exploring. Now you probably don't know this, but at one time the tagline for Nebraska was, it's not for everyone. <laughs> Well, honestly, I would totally disagree, especially when it comes to the cost of living. Right off the bat, Nebraska is going to take this one and for good reason. This is the number one reason I get calls from, from families that are looking to make a better life for themselves and their families. When it came down to it, they were just too busy grinding away at work, trying to make ends meet that they really didn't have the time to really explore the beauty that California had to offer. And the move to the Midwest would allow them to spend more time with their family and have a better quality of life. And to me, quality of life should be for everyone. Now, I've done a few videos on just the cost of living here in Omaha, so I'll link those videos right here for you to check out. And I do wanna say just a little bit in regards to the homeless situation that we're seeing in California and compare that to here, Nebraska, as it relates to the cost of living. There are approximately 160,000 homeless people in California for a variety of reasons. Here in Nebraska, there's approximately 2,400. Now, a big a part of that is due to the cold. Really, it's easier to be homeless in a climate that doesn't get below freezing very often, and California has the perfect climate for that. These are just a few of the reasons that I picked up from my clients who have made the move from California. But if you really want to know the seven reasons why you shouldn't make a move to Omaha, Nebraska, check out this video right here where I talk about everything that I didn't share here and more. And if you like content like this, guys, please consider subscribing and give me a like on this video. Thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.